how does emotional health and patterns in thinking actually affect nervous system and immunity and really like our overall physical health? Welcome to the Inspire Health Podcast. Your life is about to get a whole lot better. Have you ever felt like you tried everything and yet still couldn't find the answers or the solutions that you were seeking? Whether you're dealing with chronic illness, physical or emotional pain, I want you to know that your body is the most sophisticated machine on planet Earth. Your body holds unfathomable wisdom. Trust in it and learn from it. Know that there are answers and there are solutions to your specific health challenges. And we will be uncovering all of them here on the Inspire Health Podcast. I'm so excited to be a part of your healing journey. Your transformation starts now. What's the interplay between those things for people that aren't too aware of how that ties together and why we're focusing on this today? That's a really good question. How, how the heck, how is it that our emotions and, and our physical well-being, in other words, aren't they separate? Aren't, aren't, don't we have like a mind and then a body? Like how is it that an emotion like sadness and whatever or, or depression for long term can actually impact the body? That's a really great question. It happens through the mind-body connection through uh, hormones, basically. Every thought that I have will produce a chemical, okay? And here's the interesting play between the two. Because of the way that the nervous system is functioned, our thoughts create chemicals which then uh, are released in our body as hormones and they actually attach to these receptors on our body in, and all of a sudden create changes in our senses. So now our mind and our body are connected through the, uh, you know, through these, these little kind of ligands and proteins in our body. So the way that we think alters how we feel. And here's the crazy part about it. If I'm holding on to a feeling, okay, let's say this, I would see this constantly. Patients would come in with a, a, a spine that's, you know, locked out of position, pinching and irritating the nerve. You understand this. You're an osteopath. You get this as well. So when there's a dysfunction in that joint, now there's pain. And guess what that pain is doing? That physical and chemical insult to the nerves in the body are going to shoot messages up to the brain and then change the way we think. So here's the effed up part of this. Your thoughts create feelings and it actually also works the other way around. Based on your nervous system tone, which you could be in three different tones based on uh, your autonomic nervous system, you could be in the top one, which is connection. All right, we have a, a state of connection and our nervous system is actually functioning. It's called the ventral vagal. This is the, uh, in the polyvagal theory, this is the connection. This is where we feel uh, safety. We feel, uh, you know, everything is going well. When I'm in that space in our, my nervous system, guess what my thoughts are going to be like? My thoughts are going to be like, wow, I'm so grateful. Uh, if, I'm in a, if I'm in a lineup, for a security and I'm in ventral vagal, I'm like, I cannot wait to go on this holiday. It's gonna be so good. I, I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna meet with so-and-so people because my social engagement system is activated. So my thoughts are gonna be then in alignment with how my nervous system tone is gonna be. What'll then happen is if I'm triggered in a fight or flight place, Okay, my body then goes into sympathetic nervous system. It goes into a lack of, it doesn't feel safe. Because of that lack of safety that's actually in my body, my nervous system is going to start to align my thoughts to create safety. It's going to see you, if you're standing across from me, you're a threat to me. I don't feel safe. I'm now suspicious of everybody. I'm like, okay, so now because of the space that my nervous system is in, because of a sympathetic nervous system, because I'm in a trigger, what's going to happen in that moment is I'm now going to have thoughts that are in alignment with that space that my nervous system is. So now my thoughts and emotions are now exactly aligned with the state of my sympathetic nervous system. So I'm in that same lineup 
of the security lineup and I'm going to be like, what am I, what do you think I'm going to be like, Jason? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be impatient. I'm going to be hurry up. These people are getting on my nerves. Could you just get out of my freaking way right now? And then I'm going to start seeing people. I'm going to feel resentment towards them. They have become an enemy. There's a separation. There's no us, them. Now my nervous system, my thoughts, my emotions, my way of being is there in alignment with the tone of my nervous system. It's in sympath heavy sympathetic tone. What will then happen is if I don't get this right, okay, if I don't get this right, I then will fall into the dorsal vagal kind of shutdown. This is where you get the freeze response in the nervous system where you don't even want to get out of bed. You don't eat, you freeze. You're completely freezing. You're now freezing, freezing and you're just, you're not able to function. You don't even want to get out of bed. Your nervous system, you're functional. You could be functional, but your body is in a complete dissociation. Guess what your thoughts and emotions are going to be like in that space? Well, it's going to be in the, you're going to, I'm going to start looking in that lineup. I'm going to be like, that guy's way more fit than me. He's, he looks like he's happy in his relationship. I'm not, I'm a failure. I'm nobody. Nothing's ever going to work out for me. And now my thoughts and feelings, my, my thoughts will be in alignment to my state. So my nervous system tone and state will tell me exactly what my thoughts are going. And this endless loop is all basically this kind of safety pin cycle of the mind and the body intimately being linked through the nervous system, remove like creating chemicals, creating all sorts of um, uh, challenges that are starting in the mind are actually could be starting in the body and the mind body connection becomes impacted. And over time, this will start to wear down the body. The body is not meant to be in sympathetic and dorsal for prolonged periods of time. Hormones start to change. You start to feel resentment all the time. Uh, guilt and shame start taking over. And without properly processing those old wounds, the body then breaks down. And then we look for medications, whether they be natural remedies or whatever. We're not addressing the root cause of the root cause, which is emotional wounding, your attachment wounds. It all comes back to that. Mm -hmm.